Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. I hope you all are fine and staying safe and happy. I am your science teacher, Ms. Farheen, and I welcome you all to your science class. My dear students, as you know that we have started unit number two, ecosystem, and today I will deliver its seventh lecture. And in today's lecture, we will discuss about the food chains, predator, and prey relationship. So, my dear students, by the end of today's lecture, all the students will be able to. identify and describe common predators and prey and their prey and they will also be able to describe the roles of living things at each link in a food chain plants producer their own produce their own food some animals eat plants while other animals eat the animals that eat plants um or aham kuch food chains hain unke bare mein bhi we will also discuss so my dear students uh, let's recap what we did in the previous lecture uh, lecture quickly answer the questions define a balanced ecosystem in a balanced ecosystem all the things are moderate what do you understand by plant animal interaction humne previous lecture mein plants aur animals ke interaction ke bare mein padha tha do you remember that so there are three types of interactions between plants and animals commensalism antagonism and mutualism what is commensalism in which one member is benefited while the other remains unharmed what is antagonism in which one member is benefited and the other is harmed and what is mutualism in which both the members are benefited so my dear students now is the time uh, for a uh, for a question quickly look at the picture here and tell me which type of relationship are these food based or shelter based yahan aapko different types of jo hai wo relationship nazar aa rahe hain kya ye food based hai yani ki kya inko sirf food chahiye ya yahan par koi shelter based bhi aapko nazar aa raha hai interaction in an ecosystem there are both type of interactions food based bhi aur shelter based bhi because if you will find the shelter then you can find uh, food after that kyunki hum sabse pehle apna ghar banate hain uske baad hum khane ke upar tawajjo dete hain then lesson for today is food chains predator and prey and uh, their relationship what is a food chain so my dear students a food chain is the sequence of transfer of matter and energy in the form of food from organism to organism so my dear students basically a food chain ek aisa zariya hai jisme energy jo hai wo transfer hoti rehti hai main aapko iski ek bahut achhi si example deti hu example ye hai ke aapko ek idhar ek food chain jo hai wo upar likhi hui bhi hai nazar aa rahi hai plants rabbit fox cheetah ये एक फूड चेन है इसका मतलब ये है कि रैबिट्स जो है वो प्लांट्स को खाते हैं फॉक्स जो है वो रैबिट को खा लेता है एंड आफ्टर दैट चीता ईट्स द फॉक्स बट व्हाट हैपेंस टू द प्लांट्स ये जो प्लांट्स हैं इनके पास फूड कहां से आता है दे गेट द फूड फ्रॉम द सनलाइट सो द एनर्जी ऑफ सन इज ट्रांसफर टू द प्लांट एंड व्हेन द रैबिट ईट्स द प्लांट इट टेक्स दैट एनर्जी एंड व्हेन द फॉक्स ईट द रैबिट इट टेक्स द एनर्जी ऑफ द प्लांट एंड द सन जो कि उसने रैबिट से ली है एंड आफ्टर दैट इन द एंड द टॉप कंज्यूमर व्हिच इज चीता इट इज ईटिंग द फॉक्स और इस तरीके से जो एनर्जी का फ्लो है वो ऑर्गेनिज्म टू ऑर्गेनिज्म जो है वो ट्रांसफर हो रहा है बिकॉज ऑफ फूड एंड दिस टाइप ऑफ ट्रांसफर इज कॉल्ड फूड चेन इस पिक्चर में बहुत सारी फूड चेन है हमने सिर्फ एक डिस्कस की है एज एन एग्जाम्पल सो माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स हेयर यू कैन सी ट्री डियर लॉइन ये एक फूड चेन है आप देख रहे हैं कि कैसे एनर्जी जो है वो ऑर्गेनिज्म टू ऑर्गेनिज्म जो है वो ट्रांसफर हो रही है हेयर अगेन यू कैन सी फ्लावर फ्लाइज फ्रॉग स्नेक एंड ईगल एंड एनर्जी इज ट्रांसफर फ्रॉम प्लांट एंड ऑनवर्ड्स टू ऑनवर्ड्स बिकॉज एक चीज जो है वो दूसरे को खा रही है अगेन एनर्जी इज ट्रांसफर फ्रॉम फ्लावर टू द फिश एंड देन द लार्जर फिश एंड देन द बिगर बर्ड इट्स द फिश एंड दैट्स हाउ एनर्जी इज ट्रांसफर फ्रॉम ऑर्गेनिज्म टू ऑर्गेनिज्म in an ecosystem and uh, components of a food chain ab jo components hai hum wo discuss kar lete hain plants are the producers so in this uh, food chain this flower hibiscus flower is a producer then comes the 
Then comes the animals which are heterotrophs. So plants are producers or they are also, also called autotrophs whereas these all animals are called heterotrophs because they cannot make their own food and they depend on an other organism for energy and food. Ab inke kuch names bhi hai. Plants are the producers whereas the fly in this food chain is the primary consumer kyunki ye sabse pehle plant ko consume kar raha hai. Then comes the secondary consumer which is the frog. It is consuming on the butterfly. Then snake is the tertiary consumer. Yani ke it is the third consumer which is consuming the frog. And then comes the uh, fourth consumer which is the con, uh, quater, uh, uh, quaternary consumer which is the eagle. And animals, all the animals here are the consumers where all plants are called the producers because they can make their own food. And plants are hot autotrophs, whereas animals are heterotrophs. These terminologies there, jo hai, keep them in mind. Producers, autotrophs, consumers, heterotrophs. Or aage pe consumers be primary, secondary, tertiary, or quaternary. Hai. So, my dear students, quickly open page number 30 and 31. Page jo hai, aapka food chain uh, ka topic jo hai given hai. Quickly open in your science 4 box. I hope all of you have opened the books. Now let's start the reading. Food chains. In an ecosystem, organisms primarily interact to fulfill their food requirements to satisfy their hunger. The food-based interaction links plants and animals in a chain known as food chain. In food chains, plants are the main source of food. Primary consumers are herbivores. Eat plants. For example, a goat eat leaves. Carnivores. Secondary consumers such as lions eat herbivores. For example, this lion will eat the goat. Example, it is eating the goat. There may also be tertiary and sometimes quaternary consumers. So, my dear students, a food chain ke under jo hai wo producers or consumers jo hai wo, um, hote hai. Producers are always the plants and they are the first energy source theek hai iske baad jo animal inko consume karta hai plants ko consume karta hai that is called the primary consumer and it is always a herbivore because herbivore means ki wo plant eating animals hain then comes an animal which feeds on other animals and that is called a carnivore and that animal is the secondary consume, consumer aur kuch food chains mein secondary consumer ke baad bhi uh, tertiary or quaternary consumers bhi hote hain. So my dear students, as a students, when the last carnivorous animal finds no predator, the food chain ends. The dead remains of all these producers and consumers are decomposed into simpler nutrients by certain bacteria and fungi. Plant and animals consume the nutrients, thus maintaining the nutrient cycle. These food chains are present in all ecosystems. So my dear students, kisi bhi food chain mein jab koi uh, last uh, jo hai wo uh, carnivore ke baad koi usko khane wala nahi hota to food chain wahan khatam ho jati hai aur har food chain mein jitne bhi dead animals aur plants hote hain unko consume karte hain decomposers which are bacteria and fungi ye hum already pad chuke hain start mein iske baad kya hota hai jo decomposers hai wo dead animals aur plants plants ko simple simple nutrients ke antar jo hai wo convert kar dete hain and they become the part of the soil which is consumed again by the plant aur is tarike se ye jo cycle hai food ka ye chalta rehta hai aapko samajh mein aa gayi producer then comes the consumer which is the herbivore then comes the carnivore and then when the plants and animals die they are consumed by the decomposers and become the part of the soil and the plants grow in the soil and again the energy transferred from one place to another so this type of transfer of energy from one organism to another is called food chain samajh mein aa gayi ab aapko so my dear students here you will see different food chains in your book on page number 32 the producer is getting energy from the sun and the water and after that it is eaten by the grasshopper which is the primary consumer then the grasshoppers are eaten by the snake these are the secondary consumer then snake ko kaun kha hai yaha? it is eaten by the hawk and this is the tertiary consumer yani ke it is the third consumer 
then comes the decomposers which are the fungi these decomposers eat uh, feed on the dead plants and animals and again they uh, convert them into nutrients which become the part of the soil and again taken up by the producers so this is how energy flow aap dekh rahe hain ki it is continuous ye dekhiye kis tarike se ye continuous hai this is how it be becomes a food chain here is a food chain showing the status and the role of each member plants prepare food using water and sunlight grasshopper being herbivore eat plants and becomes the prey of snakes snake is termed as secondary consumer beca because it eats the primary consumer grasshopper snake is the prey of our hawks hawks therefore are designed as the tertiary consumers hawks have no predator when a hawk dies decomposers break it down into nutrients and again as i told you nutrients become the part of the soil and new plants grow from the soil and that is how energy flow is continuous here um, are given some other food chains belonging to different ecosystems here you will see a plant which is primary pr uh, producer and autotroph then comes the caterpillar which is the primary herbivore or consumer then the lizards secondary snake tertiary then mongoose is the contrary consumer here this uh, is an aquatic food chain diatoms are the primary producers and they are the autotrophs they are the plants then the larva are the herbivores they feed on the diatoms then the fish feeds on the larva and then the pelican the bird feeds on the fish and this is the aquatic food chain that's how the energy flows so my dear students uh, predator and prey kyunki ab hum food chains ke bare mein pad chuke hain ab aapko predator aur prey ka relationship bhi pata hona chahiye an animal that is hunted or killed by an other animal for food is called a prey whereas an animal that hunts and feeds on other animals is called a predator ab aapko jo food chain nazar aa rahi hai grasshopper baboon and cheetah isme kaun prey hai aur kaun predator hai quickly think and tell very good the grasshopper is the prey baboon is predator and prey both why it is predator because it is feeding on the grasshopper and why it is a prey because it is a food of cheetah so that is why baboon predator bhi hai aur prey bhi hai whereas cheetah is the predator because it feeds on other animals so my dear students let's read about predator and prey predators and their prey a predator is an animal that kills other organisms to eat them their prey is the organism that the predator eats for example a lion eats zebra so the lion is a predator while the zebra is a prey similarly bears eat fish foxes eat rabbits and cats eat mice so in these relationship who are predators bears foxes and cats are the predators whereas fish rabbits and mice are the prey think about it goat eat plants is the goat a predator of plants why or why not quickly think and tell me um predator and uh, no a goat is not a predator because plants make their own food so that is how the the animals which feed on other animals that relationship is called predator and prey relationship so my dear students now is the time for an activity you can see different food chains on your screen teacher jo hai ye food chains jo hai class mein distribute bhi kar sakti hain and what the students will do is teacher will divide the class into two three groups and assign them one food chain each group a b and c Uh, label it as the role of each organism at each level of food chain when they done they will explain before the class so my dear students group a b or c teacher can hand them over these um, uh, food chains aur uske baad aapko karna kya hai ki aapko batana hai ki kis organism ka kya jo hai wo status hai for example the plants and all the three food chains are the heterotrophs and producers then comes the primary consumer 
that is always a herbivore then comes the secondary consumer that is a carnivore and then in other food chains there are also tertiary and quaternary consumers and they are also carnivores so my dear students this is how you will finish it and every group will present its uh, food chain after finishing it I hope you have enjoyed the activity and other activity here given is supervised activity number four. It is given in your books. Teacher will instruct students to perform supervised activity number four from books and help them in performing. Construct a model or create a chart by pasting pictures of familiar animals and plants in simple food chains from distinct ecosystems such as forest or a desert. These model charts allow students to observe and discuss the food chains so they can understand how a food chain works. So my dear students, आपको different जो food chains हैं, different जो ecosystem के अंदर exist करती हैं, आपको उनकी pictures collect करके paste करनी है, एक chart paper बना लें, और you can also make a model. और इस तरीके से आपको पता चलेगा कि how a food chain works, ठीक है? जैसे कि एक desert plant के अंदर, एक desert ecosystem के अंदर भी आप एक food chain create कर सकते हैं, इसी तरीके से एक forest ecosystem में भी आप एक food chain जो है, वो create कर सकते हैं. So pause the video and complete this activity with the help of your teacher. I hope you have done it. Now we will move forward towards the practice. So my dear students, for practice, you can download this worksheet from the description box below this video or you can get it in print form by your teacher. So what you need to do in this worksheet, write down your name and your roll number. After that, observe the relationship between given organisms, rearrange and construct the food chains, label the role of each organism as well. So my dear students, you have to tell the relationship आपको इस फूड चेन को करेक्ट ऑर्डर में भी एरोज के थ्रू जो है वो आप ड्रॉ कर सकते हैं किस तरीके से इस तरीके से एंड देन अंदर नीथ है यू कैन राइट हेयर वन टू एंड थ्री एंड देन आल्सो लेबल ईच ऑर्गेनिज्म फॉर एग्जांपल दिस इस प्रोड्यूसर दिस इस प्राइमरी कंज्यूमर एंड दिस इस secondary consumer that is how you will complete the rest of the worksheet हमेशा हर food chain में सबसे पहले जो है वो producer होता है तो उसके नीचे आप number one point लिखेंगे आप ऐसा करिएगा कि आप top पे one लिख दें two three four five and four and after that you will write underneath them producer primary consumer secondary consumer and tertiary consumer this is how you will Finish the worksheet. Finish it and submit it to your teacher. I hope everybody has finished it. Now we will move forward. <clears throat> Note down your homework. For homework, you will do MCQ number 4 and 6 and 7 from section number A. 4, 6 and 7. You will do it in your books as your homework. And next is question number 5 from section number B. Make a flow sheet of Showing the general instructions of a food chain. ठीक है? Structure of a food chain. आपको general structure बनाना है एक food chain का कि सबसे पहले क्या आता है? Comes the producer or you can write the sun, then the producer autotrophs, then comes the consumers or all the autotrophs, sorry heterotrophs और फिर आप उसमें primary, secondary, tertiary and quaternary consumer जो है इस तरीके से आप उसको आप उसका एक structure जो है वो बनाएंगे. You will do it in your notebooks. So my dear students, today we have learnt that any food chain based relationship between plants and animals is termed as food chain. Each food chain consists of plants as producers, animals and consumers and bacteria and fungi as decomposers. Predator is the animal that hunts other animals. Prey is the animal that is hunted by other animals. So my dear students, in the next class, we will discuss about competition in an ecosystem. So my dear students, I hope you have enjoyed today's lecture about predator and prey relationship and about different food chains, how they develop, how energy flows from organism to organism in an ecosystem. Keep everybody around you safe. Have a good day. Thank you so much and Allah Hafiz.